So the main point for today is to create new missions using the updated mission editor and hopefully turn these into some campaigns in the near future. We're going to the mission editor. We'll go ahead and uh, save off this mission. Let's see, I hadn't even thought of a good name uh, for this one. Here unto the Hiranim. Or uh, maybe into Ivor. Let's start with into Ivor. We'll go from there. That's right, you all still can't see these windows. That so bothers me. I have to do a full capture in order to get that, I suppose. All right. So while we're doing this, Saber Wraith. Hey, got a Rocky Gorilla in there. I didn't see that. Why am I typing when you can hear me talking? I'm not sure why I'm typing when I should be talking. All right, so uh, Rocky, you can't see me typing into the mission editor, I hate to say. These windows are not captured by OBS for whatever reason. But I was going to go ahead and get Saber Wraith to tell us a little bit about the character building this mission around uh, fellow Gregor Antoine Markov de Kados, nephew of Nadia, the famous, beloved by all, Nadia de Kados, and current leader of the Reclamation and Exploration Cartel. So, Saberith, what can you tell us? There's not really a whole lot to tell that that uh, display doesn't already say. Um, he's been um, traveling the known worlds for the last decade or so. Uh, we've randomly Random invaded Cue Ball, Pandemonium. Uh, worked as a worked as a church uh, slave for slave for about six months. Very cool. So, what brought him to Pandemonium? Other than a spaceship. He's currently hanging with a couple of Van Gelders. And the Van Gelders wanted to investigate Pandemonium. Alright, so putting together the mission for the player character. The Lost World Ivor faces a church blockade due to both it's let's see here uh, I think we made it incarnate so I'm just double checking the books really quick yes incarnate both to its incarnate and republican tendencies However, reports have come to Duke Sharn on Pandemonium of a uh, lost gargoyle worshipped by the Hiranim of, what did we name the, uh, we had a name for the colony, Tlog, the Hiranim of Tlog, Tlog, I think is how we decided that pronunciation worked. Make your way past the blockade. Meet with the alien Hiranam and recover the gargoyle for the glory of House Dikados. Of course, if you are captured, we disclaim 
all knowledge of your activities. Sound about right? Sounds about right. <laughs> I should be able to put that into chat so that you could actually see it there. That would be an intelligent way to handle this. Why don't we do that? Kill that. Bring back Mixer. Bring back Mixer. Echo, echo. Yay, no echo. All right, let's see if I'm logged in. Yep. Cut and paste should work here, even if the rest of the windows do not. Yay! Ah, oh, cannot send more than 360 characters. Try it again. There we go. So that's the mission info. That's the info you can't see in the mission info screen. Hey, why am I off? kilter here even more so than usual camera 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 all right system info for Ivor what uh, extra special things hi Rocky all right have you had a chance to try out the new noble armada build I got all my chats up here. Excellent. Glad to hear, Rocky. Definitely good to have you here. Looking forward to your thoughts on the game, the mission editor, the crazy missions we're coming up with, and all the fun. The Lost System of Ivor has only one entry point through the dangerous system of pandemonium. And would help I spell panda, right? Not ammonia, pandemonium. Cool, glad to hear that, Rocky. Have you had a chance to try the mission editor as well? The church has blockaded access to Ivor, but reports of lost technology, bizarre aliens, and more have leaked past the Inquisitors at the jump gate. I just like the phrase, Inquisitors at the jump gate. Cool, Rocky, there's a way to play your own missions if you haven't done this already. The missions are saved as user info, and then you can uh, copy them over to... Oh, I should have opened that before I started this. You can copy them into the actual missions you can play. I'll try and show that later. Oh, excellent. You do edit them. Very cool. Yeah, we've made it possible for you to change all the missions we give you, which is uh, what I always found part of the fun of any game, being able to make them exactly what I want them to be and tweak, tweak everything around. Then again, I guess that's why we end up being game developers, because we like making those exact changes. All right, let me uh, put this text into the chat as well. All right, so that's the system info that you can't see, unfortunately. All right, so we have that saved. Now we'll go into the system. Let's get some good freakish worlds. Let's see here. That's one set of the art. There's another set. I like that one. Ooh, that one looks good for this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going with this one. This will be fun. All right. So you are going to play... Hey, uh, Saber Wraith, tell me, should this just be a Dakados mission or should it be open to all houses? I have no reason for it not to be open to all houses. Let's give it to everyone Anybody but the church. Get you, I... Yeah. All right. So, let's see. We'll begin 
by flying to this world. And I know I've defined the Ive er, planets already, but I couldn't find that list in my notes. So I'm going to make up some new names and change them over when the time comes. So let's see here. We'll start with this rocky, actually this icy world. Icy world of Mada. Mada? Mada. Madu. Hey, Madu sounds good. M A W D U. Madu. All right. So let's lay down a. Uh, Nav route between the two, put in a waypoint, and let's set it the first one. Of course there's a battle. You have to defeat all enemies. Uh, they will be church enemies, of course. The church has, wow, you can't see this text either, I hate that. Yeah, uh, Rocky, please host. Absolutely. Appreciate that much, Lee. Any host is quite welcome. Oh, let's see. The search has stationed several pickets at the jump gate to stop any intruders and warn the rest of the fleet of blockade runners about blockade runners let's say about blockade defeat these two before they can spread word to the rest of the inquest to the other inquisitors We don't want the Inquisitors to expect you. All right, let me share this in chat. Church has stationed several pickets at the jump gate to stop any intruders and warn the rest of the fleet about blockade runners. Defeat these two before they can spread the word to the other Inquisitors. We don't want the Inquisitors to expect you. Good enough. Okay. So that is the first waypoint with two church... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I've got a little kitten climbing around my desk and trying to knock over a lamp. All right, that takes us to the first planet. Let's go ahead and edit that first planet, that rocky, icy world. And uh, Mada is what we said. Madu. And on Madu, I think there'll be a listening post for the church. What else would the church have here? Let's see. You probably need to build up a fleet. So let's give it a dockyard as well. All right. The church established a listening post on Madu. Nadu, no, Madu. To track any would be intruders. You can. Take its, oh, in taking its information for your own. In taking its information for your own, you also discover a small Hiranem encampment. Hearing of your quest.
they offer the services of their whoa cat don't type for me here let's show cat so you see I'm not completely full of it let's see here little six week old kitten getting in trouble on everything all right let's not type cat I appreciate your editing uh, capabilities but uh, I didn't need that hash mark there yes go back to attacking my feet they offer the services of their fleet to bring the lost gargoyle of clog to the known world All right, let's put this into text for you all to see what I just typed. All right, let's go to admin and save this off again. Yep, all that still looks good. Everything is still there. I had a bug, for those of you who are using the mission editor, I had a bug where I would lay out the system first and then save it, and I would lose some planets and nav lanes. I believe that by saving first, I don't lose those planets. I'm not sure what the issue is. Still trying to hunt that bug down. Not 100% positive that is the issue, but we're working on it. But anyway, my recommendation is whenever you're making your own mission to uh, save it first and then start building it. All right, let's get another planet going here. Let's get a couple gas giants going. Oh. Tech Cat is on the move. Okay, Rocky. Catch you when you come back. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, create a new lav lane. New waypoint. And this time we'll... Uh, Oh, I haven't set the player fleet yet. Let's set the player fleet. You're going to start with a frigate. Sneaking past all of this. All right, back to system and waypoints. Let's see here. Got another defeat all enemies. Again, the enemies are church. And in this fight, Your Hiranim allies lead you to the gas giant of, let's see, we've got Maudu. I really have to go track down my old Ivor notes. Very upsetting. I don't have those uh, readily available. So let's go ahead and uh, call this one. New Carthage. Had another plan for that in FS, but never actually incorporated New Carthage. So that will be a lost world that'll pop up at some point. Long ago, settlers traded. An active mining installation here. Longo human settlers. Now the Hiranim have revived the old location. Warden, let's see, what's a good name for a Hiranim? What's a good name for a Hiranim Warden? Another cat? Well, same cat, actually. Another cat image. He is all about trying to be part of the live stream today. Uvenk, how is Uvenk as a name? Uvenk. 
No, be Uvenk, because they always have the long U. Uvenk. Of the Clog Colony. Joins you here for your mission. Oh, wait, that's the waypoint. I'm giving the planet information. Let's cut that and do it later. Here at the waypoint. Uh, church frigates have blockaded the Hiranim here, refusing to let them leave its orbit. So let's see, we'll have do a couple explorers and a frigate this time. And now we'll get to New Carthage. We'll edit it with the text I was just talking about. Long ago, human settlers created an active mining installation on New Carthage. Now the Hiranim have revived the old location. Warden Uvenk of the Tlog Colony joins you here for your mission. So obviously a mining operation. Let's give it a military installation, too, so you get some Hiranim Marines if you need some. I like that. You can also enlist Hiranim Warriors for your quest. I like that one. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put that into chat. Where's the third person watching? Uh, Saber Wraith, is that you? Uh, I am watching, yes. There you go. Yeah, Rocky, uh, Saber Wraith is actually in Discord chat with me. The character we're doing this mission about is one of his. Uh, really fascinating, Dikados, who left his house to join the engineers, only for the best motives, not to spy for his auntie. Uh, but uh, now he's undergoing secret missions, both for the engineers and for the Dakados. Does that encapsulate it, Saber Wraith? Yeah, that is currently where he's at. All right. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised Alaris hasn't joined us. He was... Uh, Planning on stepping in on this one, too. Okay. So again, I will go save it off. Everything is still there. Very happy about that. All right, let's throw a wrench into all of this. Let's do something odd as well. At another planet. Let's do the big gas giant. Do a waypoint straight through. I mean, a nav lane was straight through. Waypoint right there. And I think we will have Hawkwood as enemies this time. Let's give it a frigate and a galliot. Warden Uvenk. 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 There's a huh. Uvenk. Uh, tells you of other uh, humans seeking the lost gargoyle. His description. Actually, is Uvenk male or female? Let's make it a her. Her description leaves you fearing the worst. Yes, Hawkwood Knights have made it here before you. Stop them before they can claim 
the gargoyle. Let's capitalize on our gargoyle of clog. That should be a proper name for themselves. Whenever you have a good Dakados involved, you should have to beat down some nefarious Hawkwood. Yeah, death to the House of Trades. <laughs> I'm glad you like the web show, Rocky. I didn't realize you didn't have the game. We've given out a bunch of the Steam keys. Game is in beta. You can download the demo on Itch.io. Just look for Noble Armada. And uh, we're set to go live with this in mid-September. So now we've got this Hawkwood. Uh, now we'll get to this gas giant. Let's go ahead and have a colony again so we can get some crew. And maybe pick up some new guns. Oh, now we need another planet name. Let's, let's think really quickly. We've done Maldu. We've done New Carthage. Uh... Tunisians would be a good one. Uh, would be a good Tunisian name. I like Tunisia for New Carthage since they're right there in the neighborhood with each other. Uh, why don't we go with a more interesting name for the planet? Why don't we just go ahead and call it Betrayal? Another name I haven't used that I really should have. Yes, the demo is free. Thank you, Averyth and Rocky. Betrayal. Betrayal uh, gas giant. Used to be a pilgrimage point for incarnate before the church blockaded it. A number of pilgrims were stuck here and will gladly join you for the chance to return to Ivor. All right. Save again. Save early and often. Just like voting. All right. One more encounter. Let's add Ivor itself. This purdy. Hey, this purdy world right there. Give it its waypoint, and now this is their big church battle. All your crew should be nicely experienced. Oh, let's make a capture ship. I think that's great. Obviously, the church is the big enemy here. Let's give it a nice mix. Yeah, so a few good church enemies. Oh, what the heck, let's give it one more explorer. The main church fleet orbits Ivor itself. Inquisitors recently raided the Clog Colony and have made off with the gargoyle themselves. Warden Uvenk. You, Uvenk. Gotta get it right. Uvenk. Uh, entreats you. Entreats you to rescue the gargoyle and return it to the Hiranem of Cadiz. All right, Saber Wraith, has Gregor ever adventured on Cadiz? Apparently not. Uh, yes. Oh, he has. Did you meet the hearing him there? Uh, we have 
not met the Harenum. Uh, currently, currently, the uh, Decados that we have. Uh, sorry, not the Decados. The, uh, the, the, the Van Gelders are running a small island. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I had a lot of fun yeah, just, in early play tests with Cadiz. We just sent a whole bunch of uh, muster troops to try to, troops to, try to wipe out the Rona. Fun. All right, uh, Rocky, I've got the link. Let me go ahead and throw it into Mixer. It's only PC, obviously. All right. You lost. World of Ivor creates fear in both the church and the Hazat. The church worries about heresies abounding. The Hazat worry about the Chow about House Chalky. Which may make claims to all its lands. All right. So now we've got a four step linear mission. Obviously, you're railroaded. A lot of the missions we've done, I like to have multiple routes on through it. But this one only has this one route on through. So let's go ahead and save it off. And. We will go... I'm going to have to get out of the game for a minute, so this might disappear for you. But uh, while I'm out of the game, I will move it around between files so we can actually play it. So let's see here. I should have had that open, but didn't. Let's see here. Desktop, thank you. All right, uh, the game will save your missions in program files, Steam, slash Steam app, slash common, slash noble R model lost worlds, slash user missioned. Discord's a really fun uh, VOIP program that they've done a lot of work on. It works very well for uh, gamers, clans, and so forth, but it's actually getting more and more useful for business. So I'm kind of amazed at all the different uses I'm having for it now. So into Ivor, copy. And after I've taken out of user missions, I put it into campaign missions. Yep. Wait, those are the campaigns. Level data, right. Paste it in there. All right, let's go back to the main menu and see if we can play it now. All right, we will play it as Dakados, just cause that feels appropriate. Into Ivor, there it is. The Lost World Ivor faces a church blockade due to both its arcanate and republican tendencies. However, reports have come to Duke Sharn on Pandemonium a lost gargoyle worshipped by the Harenim of Clog. Make your way past the blockade, meet with the alien Harenim, and recover the gargoyle for the glory of House Dakatos. Of course, if you're captured, we disclaim all knowledge of your activities, and you will burn as a heretic. Scum! I should have added that to the end, at least the scum part. Alright, here we go, into Ivory. Alright, play is still not balanced. You're still starting the game with far more money than you will actually have in actual play. And uh, the enemy is still not at full aggressiveness. But here comes your Dakados frigate. And we see a bunch of church ships and Hazat along the way. So let's get moving. Counter the first of them. The church has stationed several pickets at the jump gate to stop any intruders and warn the rest of the fleet about blockade runners. Defeat these two before they can spread word to the other Inquisitors. 
We don't want the Inquisitors to inspect you. All right. Wow, I didn't add any... Oh, wait, the debris is random. That's right, that's right, that's right. To keep these from being completely predictable adventures. All right, let's go sailing right after the uh, church inquisitors before they can get away. Okay. So maneuvering, Rocky, if you haven't really seen the game, is uh, physics-based. You, you can't just stop on a dime in space. You have to uh, reverse your thrust and all. So right now, our thrust has us going in the direction of our uh, indicator there. But we're going to change. Go this direction. That's going to start getting us a little bit at an angle. You see how we change our angle a bit? That's going to give us a nice run across the enemy's T with our broadsides. Our big guns are on the uh, sides of our ships. Are they in range yet? Please don't shut me down, cat. Hello, cat. Let's see. Not in range yet. Now are we in range? Yes, we are. Let's get a quick broadside going there. Let's board another one. Whoa! Oh, missiles! That hurt. Whoa! Lots of damage. I thought I was being all cool and boarding to get extra money. But uh, they're waxing me. Hey, hey, no eating the cord, cat. You know better than that. Ah, uh, Inquisitors with flame guns uh, held high. Sounds like Christmas. Inquisitors with flame guns. Never mind. Telling us to stop eating my cord, cat. Wow. We've got to get you to stop biting cords. You're going to have a zap. They will not be happy. All right, maybe they'll surrender when they see how many more rings I've got coming through. Yep. There we go captured their ship let's go ahead and blast away the other oh we lost all those shields we took some serious damage on our left side lovely all right let's change our facing and try and slow down so we can stay engaged with this one. Oh, that was a nice broadside that should have done a lot of hits on that one the cossack wins you taught them what fear really means. We've destroyed the enemy and liberated ten firebirds. That's it. Wow. Glad we started with a bunch of cash. Do some repairs up there in space. We got some promotions. Our crew got promoted and our Marines got promoted. That's good to see. Definitely took some damage on that side. So let's head on through to the next planet. Can you cut and paste that, Link Rocky? The church established a listening post on Madu to track any would-be intruders. And taking its information for your own, you also discover a small Harenim encampment. Hearing of your quest, they offer the services of their fleet to bring the lost gargoyle of Plog to the known worlds. Alright, so up here we have the listening post. The Puckle Church listening post. Can you get a scan of the system here? Hey, why don't I get my scan? Because I hit the wrong button, that's why. User error, user error, continue. All right, so we got four explorers, four frigates, and two galleots. Four exorcist-class vessels, four rack-class vessels, and two halberd-class vessels. All right, let's buy some ships. The frickin' dockyard. Oh, let's go ahead and buy the galleot. That'll be a nice addition. You won't really have this much money at this point in the game, but uh, it's cool to have. The way I'm setting up this mission, I figure the player will have to come back a couple of times and build up its forces. All right, so we get that. And now on to the next mission. Got to remember that my starboard is uh, actually port. Yeah, my port side is damaged. Your Hiranum allies lead you to the gas giant of New Carthage. Church frigates have blockaded the Hiranim here, refusing to let them leave its orbit. We have these two ships. Let's put the frigate in back since it's damaged and galleot in front. Oh, now we got to really work our way through some debris. This will be a mess of a fight. Hey, Rocky, your best bet is probably to just uh, uh, copy that link and see if that gets you there. Whoa, hey, Cossack, you came in at a high rate of speed. Slow you down. 
You know, the Galliot catches up with you. Want to keep you two together for this fight. And you'll see that we're facing directly to the screen right, but we're still going to go up at an angle because we already had some acceleration going. But that gets us around these rocks. Oh, hey, they're already up on us. Let's move in a little slowly here. While we let this ship join us. Get a full broadside off on that explorer. While the Severus comes through. He's going to bounce off that debris. Let's take him this way and see if I can avoid it that way. All right. Good broadside. Oh, got hit on my wounded side. Not good. Let's go ahead. I should have let the Severus lead. Let's get a broadside on their big ship, too, because we're going to need it. Oh, I bounced off that debris. I did not get past it. Hey, Cossack's taking care of this whole thing itself. Let's go ahead and board the other ship, too. Why am I not getting the boarding icon? This is something that always bothers me. Sometimes that boarding icon will just stop showing up. Not sure why. Let's go this way and see if that makes a difference. Nope. Still no boarding icon. Blast. Alright. Let's just shoot. A lot of pew pew pews. Hey, now I get the boarding icon. Just wanted me to soften up the enemy first. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. But that is interesting. If I fire, then the boarding option shows up again. So for some reason, it's getting caught. Oh, I don't have any Marines. I did lose a bunch of Marines in that last fight. Didn't think about that. This might not be a good boarding opportunity. We'll push on, though. The Dakados never say die unless they're telling someone else to do it. Yep, we lost that. No Marines on that ship. That hurt. All right, let's just blast them into oblivion. Oh, wow. Did some damage to me there, and I did not take him out. All right, Severus, I need your help up here. Get the Cossack out of the way of this fight. Run away! Wow. That little explorer's been rocking me. Goodness, and I was saying I didn't have aggression really tuned up. This guy's a piece of work. I do hope there's a repair yard at the next planet. We're going to need it. This fight got a little... uh tougher than I expected it to. But yeah, we've got a ton of Marines on board the Severus. Oh, come on, church guys. Surrender. These are some fanatical inquisitors, I can tell you. Yep, that's my cat knocking stuff over. Yay, captured the ship. Took some real damage on that fight. You got Quarrel? I haven't used that one. Oh, took some serious damage all around. Let's see if we can do repairs at the next planet. I think I gave that next planet a shipyard. Let's hope so. Yeah, I mean a mining operation do the repair. Yep, the prospector is going to fix you up. Only 83 for all that fixing? Nice. Don't have much money to begin with. All right. And we do need more Marines, don't we? This is uh, something I've been looking to test. So the Mantis, oh, it still has Marines listed. I thought I would have lost some. Let's get out of this. Let's not buy any yet. Let's look at the ship info. So 
he's got 33 Marines. And they, oh, they've got no experience. They had experience before, and they've lost experience. They shouldn't have lost it just by dying like that. Okay, well, let's buy some more Marines. 32.5 Marines. Okay, glad I caught that one. And you see what crew experience does. You refuel quicker, you reload your guns quicker. Very handy. So... Let's go back and buy those Marines I was talking about. Let's see how much money we can buy like 15 more Marines. We better get some more money quickly. Yeah, not having money in this the fight is always interesting. All right, on to the Hawkwood battle. Warden Uvenk tells you other humans seeking the lost gargoyle. Her description leaves you fearing the worst. Yes, Hawkwood Knights have made it here before you. Stop then before they could claim the Gargoyle of Tlog for themselves. Oh, right on their tails. This will be a quick fun fight. See if we can just get in and board on them before they can do us much damage. They're lining up some shots. Let's bring this guy in this way. All right, Cossack. Let's go ahead and shoot up the frigate and board the galleot. No, not in range. In range of this one, though. There we go. Let's, oh, wow. That took him out. Let's do a quick softening up of the... Uh, Galliot and then board it. Did I just have a dead ship attack me? Maybe that attack was uh, set beforehand, but that's going to be an interesting bug to look at. Alright, no repairs needed. We did that fight quick and easy. I might need to bump up the uh, Hawkwood forces there. The Betrayal Gas Giant used to be a pilgrimage point for incarnates before the church blockaded it. A number of pilgrims were stuck here and will gladly join you for the chance to return to Ivor. Alright, let's get some more crew. Definitely add some crew back to the Mantis. Alright, so actually let's look at this again. Uh, the Mantis here has... Oops, wrong button. Wait, that is the right button. No marine experience, but one crew experience. So let's hire some crew and see what happens. Did it just give you two extra ships? It looks like it, but no, that's just how it shows the bays right now. But that's a great point. There's definitely better ways to do this. And, uh,. I actually think there might be a bug going on because I've had fights where I've lost a ship and it still shows that slot in my armada being filled, even though it isn't. So we're looking into that one too. So if you encounter that as well, let me know. All right, so we bought up some crew for the Mantis. We got a cat trying to eat my mouse cord. And let's see what our crew experience is now. No, don't eat the headphone cord either. Yeah, you see how it looks like these slots are filled here with explorers. I wonder if it was looking that way earlier. Thankfully, that's why I've got the uh, video going, so I can check that. And the uh, crew experience is still there. Okay, good to know. All right, let's go to the final battle. On to Ivor. Now in this fight, we're going to have to... The main church fleet orbits Ivor itself. Inquisitors recently raided the Tlog colony and have made off the gargoyle themselves. Warden Uvenk, Uvenk entreats you to rescue the gargoyle and return it to the Hiranum of Cadiz. Wow, I am showing those two explorers. 
Let's see if they show up in the battle. I wonder what happened with that. No, they're not showing up in the battle, but they did show up on that screen. That's curious. So I need to capture that explorer over there and defeat all these enemy ships. So let's get a whole bunch of salvos going as we move on in. Get those shots going. I'm sure the Cossack's out of range. Yeah. Alright, don't have many front guns. You saw only two pew pews went from there. So let's turn the Severus on its side. Do those shots. Definitely trying to take out the big ship first. That should do it. No! Alright, one more from each of them. That's going to take up all those side guns until uh, we get uh, our crew... He feels, no, the Cossacks still got all his front gun. It's the Severus that's going to use all the side guns. Whoa. All right, Severus, take that church ship. Oh, wow, it's almost an hour already. This one's, this stream has flown by. That's been fun, building out this mission, testing it. And battling in the Inquisition. I didn't expect battling the Inquisition to be so much fun. Yay! Capture the ship we need to capture. Now we just need to blow up the others. Turn around to get other guns, bring other guns to bear. There are a lot of enemy ships here, that's for sure. Bang, right in the front. I don't want to do these boarding operations. These are big ships. I think I need to win this fight by uh, guns. But man, Cossacks losing some shields. Let's use those rear guns. Keep protecting the Severus. Wow, that crew is on it. They are reloading those guns in no time. That's handy. Stuff. Bunch more broadsides, and we'll have this done. Ooh. One thing you just saw you can shoot their bullets. It's kind of a fun little tweak we made in this game. Oh, wow, this Cossack has almost nothing left. Glad this is the last fight. He's pounded on. Hmm. Last explorer might take a bit. Let's board him. When in doubt, send the Marines. There they go. Hmm, this is a bad map. Need to redo this map. Oh, it's got three entry points, but they all go into two points. Cat, I appreciate your interest in live streaming, but uh, not when the main interest is eating my cords. All these Marines into the fray. Cat all over the place. It is a young kitten, it is to be expected. All right, so that should be it. Victory. Taught them what fear really means. Get to fix the fleet a bit. Go on to Ivor and victory. All right. So Saber Wraith, what did you think? Got to make a few tweaks to that. Make the Hawkwood more powerful. 
I think it's uh, going to be an interesting mission. Yeah, I want to make it a bigger part of a campaign where you get the gargoyle and you have to sneak it through to Cadiz. And obviously there will be a fight with some traitorous uh, Dakados there as well. But uh, at least there's a first mission. I think it works pretty well. Uh, I'll, I think I, I do have your email address. I'm going to send you this mission after I pump up the Awkward a little bit and let you play it out too and see what you think. Okay? All right. Good stream. Thanks for joining, Rocky. Uh, the cat wants to say bye-bye again. He is having all sorts of fun upside down time. Appreciate you joining us. Neat things, a couple bugs, and uh, lots of good stuff accomplished. So thank you very much. And Saber Wraith, if you want to join us again next Sunday in chat, that'd be great. Uh, if I'm available, I'll do it. Excellent. All right, take care, all.